welcome back to Trader's Keep. And today, we are going to sail with Commander Milton to the Inventor's Island. I went and stocked up on some more apples. Just Faraday had a remote factory he opened up to the public before things turned sour. It's where he did all his work, and he's never stopped talking about it. I'm certain we'll find him there. But if what they say about his inventions is true, it won't be easy to capture him. Shall we go, Your Majesty? What do they say about his inventions? Okay. Do I get on the boat? Am I waiting for you to talk? Or is it just gonna fade to black? Okay. Clockwork Island. It was quite a popular tourist attraction some years ago. Faraday's inventions have changed the world, but all he really wanted was to make people happy. Why was he locked up? Nobody really knows. Your brother said he was a danger to mankind. As for Faraday himself, all he would ever say is that he'd rather die than betray his creations. I used to queue up for hours when I was a child in Bowerstone. Just to get a glimpse of his contraptions. I still remember the slogan, Faraday Industries, where far away dreams become reality. Well, those dreams certainly look far away now. Ooh, dick spot. Another wedding band. Okay. Ooh. I wonder what this okay. was supposed to be. Oop. I don't know where you are. I ended up behind the robot. Welcome visitors to Clockwork Island. Maybe you're supposed to put gold coins into its mouth, you know, to pay I the entrance fee. And I will be your guide. Please refrain from using obscene language in front of the children. Now, if you will follow me, we will begin the tour. Keep your belongings with you at all times, and try not to stray from the group. I suppose we should do what he says. Wait, let me change into my street clothes. Welcome to the sanctuary. There are new garments available. Must be new tattoos. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, where that? I always thought that one was quite exceptional. Me too. Okay, lead the way, Huxley. We begin with what is yet to come. Astonish your senses, give flight to your fancy, by stepping into the street of the future. I'm starting to wish I'd paid this place a visit while it was still open. Before you is an everyday Bowstone <laughs> suburb, as it will be 15 years from now. Yes, the future is in our grasp. Please walk Robot the neighbors? of tomorrow. Wow. Share in their joy. Marvel at their superior well-being. Oh, they're playing fetch with the robot dog. This activity in the world of tomorrow, there is no conflict, no jealousy, no selfishness. Thanks to science, people are finally happy. Ooh. Why'd you just turn to me, Commander Milton? That was ominous and weird. Witness the idyllic lives of these model citizens. Marvel at the perfect lives they lead. Oh. Would you not want to raise a family here? I mean, it sure is pretty. This is the future that Faraday Industries can bring to Albion. Peace and contentment for all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good evening. 
Uh, does this conclude the tour? Huxley? This concludes the tour. We hope all oh. your dreams have been fulfilled. Yes, because all my dreams can be fulfilled in a tour. But thank you. Alright, so through the door. Up, oh, it's electrified. I know who you are, and I know why you're here. You will never get what you want. Never. Once again, are you talking about my I brother? I am for you, your majesty. I am most ready. And if it is violence you seek, then violence you shall have. Can we talk this about this? This is a security announcement to all our guests here today. Please take cover. The management accepts no responsibility for any mutilations, fatalities, or slight grazes. Wow, thanks. And now. Presenting the latest in armed defense mechanisms, a round of applause for the Colin Mark II. The Colin? Isn't that what we fought in Understone? Oh gosh, he's got a red eye. Oh no, not the picket fence! Oh yeah, definitely <laughs> like the. Yeah, definitely. So this is what Faraday's been doing in his spare time. Building a mechanical army. Is that why your brother locked him up? Faraday is just storing us. We have to find it. A word of kindness makes the world a better place. This is like no armor I've ever seen. Oh, shoot. Oh, Huxley is in like the I'm starting to see why your brother locked Faraday up. Come on, let's find him, shall we? Alright, find an alternative route. I think there might be a way through here. Yeah, I see it. Broken wall. Weak boards. How come this isn't part of the tour? Welcome to the graveyard of the future. Look at this place, even the wall is falling to pieces. Maybe someone broke the wall on purpose? There's some sort of canal down there. Ready when you are, your majesty. Mm, give me a second. I want to make sure there's nothing back here. I'm rather curious to see what lies behind the futuristic veneer, aren't you? I mean, feel free to explore on your own if you truly want to figure it out. But there's a chest back here and I want it. I don't think we'll find a tour guide where we're going next. Alright, yeah, I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Keep your hat on. Ravens! Crows? Mm. Oh, he jumped down here too. Cool. Oh, there's a book. The park has been open for a whole month now, and I can say without reservations that it is an extraordinary success. The public adores my creations, and as I predicted, the street of the future is proving to be my greatest draw. Tomorrow I travel to Miss Peak, where I will oversee the maiden voyage of the improved monorail. I think this design is the safest yet. 
only if he knew that it would later be destroyed by Hobbs. Why do you bark? I'm no longer up there. Oh, dick spot. Don't jump on my dog. We aren't friends. Graceful as ever. Calbar, do you even know where it is? I think he's confused. The fall has definitely messed up his little nose. Ah, pff, okay. Commander Milton's like, the heck? Just dump dirt on him, <laughs> that's nice. Alright, Pearl, alright, I'll lead the way. Then, follow me. I think we can safely say this isn't part of the tour. No, really? What tipped you off? Jumping down, like, that hole in the wall? Or fighting the robots? What are those? Insects? There's a dead person. My cleaning and repair crew to clear the canal of detritus. Now go away. Who's the dead person, though? I'm so, like... I don't care what you do. Faraday's built a... Can you imagine what would happen if these insects got loose in Albion? I Careful mean, they're majesty. kind of cute. They're far more dangerous than real beetles. Are you going to do anything about the one that's killing you or we're getting close faraday must be in that factory up ahead oh there's a broken one anything around here nope mm, that's blocked off so no for the moment why can't you leave me alone I will never do as you ask. Do you hear me? Never! You even know what I'm gonna ask. What's he talking about? I'm not sure. Maybe he's finally lost what little reason he had left. Rulers may believe they can impose their will on whomever they so wish. But I was born to make dreams come alive, not to create death. You have already seen the weapons your brother forced me to make. But they shall never leave this island, and neither shall I. So that's why your brother had him locked up. He refused to build him an army. And he thinks that's what you've come here for. No one ever asks me anything. They just assume that I want to do the same things that my brother did. And they're all like, oh, I mean, your brother, he was such a tyrant. Oh, you're going to be the same. Like, yeah, of course, because I'll follow my brother's footsteps and not my mom's. The great hero queen. Puppy! Explosive puppy! I have a feeling I mean, you don't have to. to play catch with us. Bombs. Why am I not surprised? You need to kill them from a distance. I mean, I'll kill them from a distance. <laughs> Oh, there's a dog over there. Faraday must be really desperate if he's willing to destroy his creation to stop us. Oh gosh. I was always more of a cat person myself. Faraday must be really desperate if he's willing to destroy his creations to stop us. Move. 
Faraday must be really desperate if he's willing to destroy his creation. How many times are you going to say that, hmm? Oh gosh. Move. Faraday must be really Why did she do that? I've had just about enough of this. Whatever he believes, he's another dead end. There must be some way through. Look how you corrupted my life's work. Come to Oh gosh. Perhaps you need more evidence. Think of what your brother would have more evidence. Really? They were right there and you didn't want to hit them at all? If this technology ever gets out, it means the end of the army. Who would need a real soldier? Who would want to be one? What do you think I'm trying to do? If this technology ever gets out, it means the end of the army. Who would need a real soldier? Who want to be one? I've fought a lot of strange things in my time, but today has to be the strangest. Do not be alarmed. I am a licensed dental surgeon. Now. I'm really getting sick of these walking boxes. I think there's a way through the roof. Come on. Okay, but I think there's a thing over here somewhere. Yes. Here we go. Is it not here? Oh, there's a book. Incredible news. I have received word that King Logan himself is planning to visit the island. He wishes to speak with me in person. No doubt to congratulate me on all the advances I have made. And on transforming Bowerstone slums into a happy and productive place. I shall have to record a special welcome message for Huxley. Whoa. Logan visited? Did he bring us here? Please tell me he brought the young prince or princess here. Oh, is that the treasure you were talking about? The book? Hopefully. And there's not an actual treasure chest around here that I'm missing. Gosh, how are we even, like, these platforms are absolutely destroyed. I think there's a chest, no. Alright. Pull the mysterious handle. Okay, so to open that door, we need to depower all the rest of the generators. I am a troubled man today. King Logan presented me with a most unexpected request. He wishes me to adapt my creations and build an army. He assures me it is required to defend Albion, but I have serious misgivings. My creations are meant for peace and the betterment of mankind. I will begin making changes to them, but I will not activate a single one unless I have assurances as to their ultimate use. Oh, okay. I think Logan wanted them made to combat the darkness that was coming to Albion. Of course, he would not say to other people why he was doing the things he was doing, but it does seem strange to ask a man who loves his creations to ask to have them be changed into killing machines. Yes. Oh, there's a chest down there. But I don't feel like walking all the way back up, so we'll get it later. You've taken my work. You've taken years of my life. But you cannot take my soul. No, that is out of reach even to Albion's ruler. I will encase it in the future. I will have to be swiftly and easily. 
Logan must have driven him insane. He made him turn this place into a war factory. All those years, Faraday was babbling in his cell. I had no idea this is what it was all about. General Turner must have plans for all these creatures. That's why he set Faraday loose. How many more of these things are there? If this technology ever gets out, it means the end of the army. Who would need a real soldier? Who'd want to be one? You have been warned before. This thing is a killable offense. Think of what your brother would have done if he'd had an army of automatons at his command. Really difficult to know. Let's hope that's the last of them. Hmm. I guess that's final battle territory. They wouldn't just show that off for nothing. I was correct in doubting Logan's intentions. He has demanded I hand over the army. And I can tell from his manner that he has gone power mad and means to use them for harm. If I refuse, he has threatened not only to confiscate all my industries, but to lock me up forever. But I will stand firm. My creations must remain pure, no matter what the cost. I just want to talk things out. I don't want your armies. The last factory. I don't want your has to be here machines. Somewhere. Ooh, a chest. I can't help it. Health potion. This door is locked. Mm, doesn't seem to be anything else. Faraday, are you here? I just want to talk. Really. Yeah, that'll do it. What if it was all just recorded messages? He's been playing with us. Is this the perfect soldier you wanted, your majesty? Well, you shall never have it. Up. Uh, <laughs> Gen Stomp, dear heavens. Well, Milton's out of the game. I hate close combat. Literally like the worst thing ever. This suit to be the most powerful weapon that has ever existed. Allow me to demonstrate. Whoa, is he using will? Protect me. Why won't you leave an old man alone? You can leave me alone. You won't let me. My creations will never desert me. Got nothing to do but just roll away. Oh my gosh, I need to get out.
Why do you stop rolling? Keep rolling, girl. We're trying to dodge things. He when it pins me on the spot. Move. I didn't have to be this way, Faraday. No one lets me explain anything. Well, well girl. Then, I'm ready. Your brother destroyed everything I cared for. You may as well kill me. We should take him back to the keep. We can take care of his wounds there. I'm not like my brother. You're safe now. Thank you. I should not have judged you so hastily, Your Majesty. You have been through a lot, Mr. Faraday. But now that we know the truth, your life will return to normal. Very good. He will be released as soon as his wounds are healed. Traitors keep, like clockwork. Faraday no longer poses a threat to the world, but then he never really did. You can now right Logan's wrong and give the father of industry his life and his freedom back. <laughs> Lovely. Meet Commander Milton and Hobson in the records room. Cool. So we collected all of them except for one of those books. How you doing? Is he crying? Oh my gosh. I need to get out of here. Alright. Can you ah, find anything? My queen, I have eagerly awaited your return. I have made an extraordinary discovery. Just tell her what my men found out, Hobson. Why, it was a wholly collaborative effort. Without my supervision, who knows? Someone just tell just me. Just tell me. Of course, indeed. As you know, the second prisoner is the alchemist and alleged witch, Mary Godwin. A rather foul and malevolent woman, by all accounts. We have uncovered files on experiments so grotesque I don't mind admitting I lost part of my supper while reading them. Get to the point, Hobson. Hmm, uh, yes. Well, it seems that before she turned to foul necromancy, she came from a well-to-do family. We believe she may be hiding out at her grandfather's long-abandoned and rather opulent estate. I have the coordinates. I'll wait for you at the pier. The sooner we capture this woman, the better. And I shall continue leading the investigation into General Turner. There really seems to be so little information on the man. It's as if he had taken his records with him. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep note on that, Hobson. Thank you. Seems like they cleaned up around here. Lights seem to be back on. It's not as dark as it once was. Uh, can I run by you? Yes. Open a store. Yes. And he says I have to pay rent. Why? Why did it Why are the cell doors open? You don't mess with me, all right? Do. Yeah, they did a lot of cleaning up, so there's no more random bodies and fire. Oh. Every soldier swears an allegiance to the crown. I have upheld that oath most of my life, until I could do so no longer. King Logan has broken the unspoken contract with his people. He has brought nothing but misery upon Albion. And by what right? Being the son of a hero? What gave the old hero the right to start this monarchy? If it is the ability to cast spells, are we to turn our street magicians and jugglers into royalty? 
If it is the overwhelming strength, are we to make kings of brutes and trolls? And if it is the blood in their veins, are we then not all royalty? For that blood runs through every Albion man, woman, and child. Heroes are merely accidents of nature. Let us bow before them no more. This is for you. Dang. Alright, so this is his diary too. I guess his diary must be scattered about Raven Scar Keep. Thank you. Is that good? The store is locked. Perfect. Put stuff in a pot with water and boil until hot. Mm, pretty simple, yeah. Any other enlightening uh, recipes? Oh. Right, the skulls do something. I totally forgot. I should have been looking out for them. So there's a bunch of collectibles in this DLC. There's the books, there's the new clothing, and then there's the skulls. I don't remember what they open though. But we'll keep an eye out. Ready to serve your well, majesty. Dave. Dennis had the bright idea of holding competitions between the prisoners. He keeps us. He said we should have them stripped down to their pants and run around a sort of course we could devise for our entertainment. I can't put my finger on it, but something tells me it's a bad idea. Eye contact is crucial. Wait for the prisoner to lower their eyes. Never drop yours. Unless it's prisoner 11425. That guy's a maniac. My name is General Solomon Turner, and I wish to make a record of the decision I have come to, and the reasons for making it. I have served in the Albion Army for 35 years, fought alongside fine soldiers such as Major Swift and Walter Beck, and seen many changes before our land. I always believed in my work, to protect the people, and it is because of this belief that I cannot, in good conscience, continue to serve the man who sits on the throne. It is in observing the character and actions of King Logan that I have come to the most important realization of my life. This monarchy we live under is an evil system. It must be destroyed by any means necessary, and I am willing to lead the revolution to make it so. Are uh, you a little late on that revolution stuff, yeah? So he served with Walter and Major Swift. All right, you don't have to talk when I pull a pistol out. It is okay. I'm telling you seriously. I would never even hurt any of you guys. This door is locked. For good reason, probably. Okay, so we did a little exploration. Gotta keep an eye out for those skulls and more of... Oop, I'm so sorry, Brian. Yep, gotta keep an eye out for those skulls and the diary pages of General Turner. Interesting. Next time, hopefully, well, it should lead us to um, Mary Goodwin's grandfather's opulent estate. So we'll head over there. Until next time.